Hi, it's me, Tina, with Ideas and Embellishments, and I am here to talk about this Defemember. Okay, <laughs> yes. Um, so, um, what I did was, this was a, a daily, December daily, and uh, hosted by uh, Barbara with 49 Dragonflies and Louise Hansel with Junk Journal Art, I believe is her, the name of her, um, Yes, anyway, of her channel. So um, this is the prompt list and it was done in December, but of course I didn't do it in December. I did it in January and part of February and part of March, I think. I've been doing it for a while because I do work full time. So it's been, a, and it really got me out of my comfort zone. But anyway, so I finished the challenge or the, 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 the inspiration and the ephemera and I put it all into a journal. So here I am gonna show you the journal today, but do a little flip through. So, okay, here it is. It's a monster. It's a monster. It's a monster. Yes, it is a monster. Okay, so I, I do know that the cover was the last prompt and it was wood and packaging. So the, she, and I kind of copied her and I hope she doesn't mind. Um, you know, hey, copying is the flattery. I think, but she used, actually she used a raven. I love this owl because he looks kind of mean. And um, and I found this music paper seed song, which I thought was pretty appropriate for him. She used a stick. I didn't, I used cardstock because I didn't want it to be really bulky. And the wood element that I had, because I didn't have, I didn't use wood was I used, I made this little charm out of a popsicle stick. <laughs> um, anyway, and I, I used the binding. I found this this lovely, lovely stuff. Um, I got it at Hobby Lobby and I put it over ribbon. This fabric I've had for a long time. I didn't know what to do. I thought it was appropriate. Like there's a little dragonfly <laughs> and there's a butterfly. Um, and I the butterflies represent Louise because she says, Louisa, because she says you can never have too many butterflies. So there you go. Uh, so I, I didn't know how to, how to close it, but I think Louisa had this in one of her journals, so this is what I decided to use anyway. So I made a little spot to put my defemerenda spots prompts. <laughs> Hope this is in frame, yes. Um, these are some of the little tickets that we made, um, little tickets and pockets. This was some, I found a little, um, a little book at a thrift shop and it had these little holes here, so I went ahead and put um, put some um, what do you call eyelets in here, and I put a, a dragonfly here and a butterfly to represent um, Barbara and Louisa. So anyway, and I put some different things on the back. So I'm just gonna. This is an envelope, and of course it's it's uh, coffee dyed, and it has a lot of um, oxides on it. Inside of here, I put a little. Uh, this I made. I think Nick the booksmith or. A little raggedy book, I think, just to journal in, and I thought it was appropriate because it has butterflies on it. Um, lots of crinkly paper. This is parchment, I believe. This was one of um, this. I know this was one of Louisa's prompts, uh, journals, things, because it was a birdhouse. She called them birdhouses, um, and I made this tag. This was one that we made out of a napkin, and it's got a little pocket here and one of the tickets that we made. And I like to I like to put it so that it says, a single rose can be my garden in there. So that's that. Uh, and I have some book pages. We made this um, tuck spot belly band, which I just used as a tuck spot. That was one of Barbara's things. Um, and this is a index card that's altered and it has a little, a little paper pad in there, which is really cute. It slips in there. We also made a lot of these page tabs, so, and they're in there. This is tracing paper that's coffee dyed and has um, distress oxides on it. And this is stenciled coffee dyed paper. There's a lot of stenciling. It's a paper bag. I don't know why. I just felt like it. I don't know. It sounds kind of neat. This is a paper bag, a white paper bag, and some more page tabs. Over here's another one of these pockets, and here's a button card that we made. And I had put one of these in. Um, I have a video on these, but it was inspired by both Louisa and um, and Barbara. Barbara made her own buttons. Louisa used her grandmother's buttons, which was kind of cool. I printed off some of these papers so there'd be a place to journal. I just made these up. Um, 
I did the sketch of a bird. Thank you, Barbara, for getting me to try. These are, and I have a, a few of these in the journal. It is a um, freebie from the Graphics Fairy. So I have a few of these. I really like them. And it fits into this nature journal. This was really cool. It was a, um, it was a CD case, but I didn't have one, so I made one. Um, and what I did is I used it. We just decorated it, and I used it as a flip. I flipped mine. And this is one of the cards that um, Barbara made in the, I think it's a paint sample prompt. I think that was that one. And some of them I did both, and some of them I just, because Louisa and Barbara each had a video every day. So some of them I did one of each, and some of them I just did one. So it just depends. And some, some of them I did a combination of both. So this paper is a printable from Froyal Arts, and Barbara has that link. And I, I guess I can put it down there if I, I can remember where it is. I can, um, but it, it, she, she has these freebies in her shop in her on her website. Here's another button card that we did, and this one we backed. Um, and behind it, I have this lovely flippy pocket thing, which I think is so awesome. It opens like this, and then it's got three pockets here. And we made this in um, that, and it's got a place to journal on the back. And it, it's got a little fabric in one of the little buttons that we made. And then it's got one of the seed cards that we did, and of course, my little bee, bumblebee cards. And that just flips down. I really love this. I've never done like any kind of, whoops, any kind of like, I might need to glue that back. Grungy stuff, but this was another page tab. Um, more foil art. Here's another one of my masterpieces. We um, decorated some Rolodex cards, and I think she showed us how to make them. And there's some washi tape on there. And I just used the parchment paper and flipped it over and made a little pocket there. We also did this card here. Um, these are ginkgo leaves, and that was Louise's idea, and um, just, you'd have to go through and watch all the videos in order to know which did what, because I don't remember, but it was fun. Um, another one of the seed packages, and we made some tickets, I made those tickets. Here's a, a little tag that we made, and with a little bird, and a tree stamp. I actually, she had so many tree stamps that I actually had to try to make a tree stamp, so that was fun. Another one of my watercolor doodle masterpieces, and I put it on this um, paper bag. Here's another button card, and this is an index card that I saw on another channel, and I can't remember which one it was, but we just kind of basically just um, got them ready to embellish. That was kind of fun. Here's some more stenciling. Um, this is um, one of my book pages. We made these paper clips embellishments, and they're so cute, and she told us you can... Um, how you curl the ends of it. So like the little parts of it, we curled them so they looked really a little more decorative. So we're gonna put that right there, it's really pretty. So book page, another um, parchment paper. This is the back of the envelope and I just covered it with paper. We did postcards and um, some of that. And this is, this is so cute, this little tag and it's got a little pocket. And that's a Tim Holtz stamp that I have. I found it actually at a thrift shop. I don't even know if they make them anymore. Um, so anyway, that put that in the pocket. And um, this is paper bag. <laughs> and it's got a little, one of the little tea. I think we called these tea, tea envelopes, I think. I think that's what they were. And I like this because it's a little pocket. And here's another one of the button cards that we, I love making these. They're just so much fun. <laughs> so I made a few. <laughs> um, there's another one of those tea in, uh, this is a seed, considered a seed packet. Oh, and Barbara did these too. She put these little pieces on fabric and zigzagged them, so I really like that idea, so I put that in here too. And then this is a um, decorated Rolodex card again, and it says make a wish. Some more, one, another one of those envelopes, and here is, uh, I just did another one of cards, I really like it. And it's just an index card that I decorated and put a tab on. Um, this is one of the things that we did and it's just kind of a, I don't know, <laughs> fabric and different papers. And I stamped on the fabric another, and I used the, one of the tickets as a band so I could put that in there. This was something I did a long time ago and I don't remember where I got the idea, but this didn't come from, um, this didn't come from this challenge. It's just a little, uh, it's got little slips here so you can put stuff in there if you want to. And it's got a place to journal. 
And I like this. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And then there was a lady on one of my Facebook pages that had this idea, and I thought it was awesome. It's just the bottom of a paper bag. So when you fold it up like this, it's just flat. But when you open it, it's just... And I put a picture of a tree in there. I just love that. And she, I, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description. Another one of my book pages. These are um, these are the pockets, and you have to see this. See this? I don't know if you can see this. This, I got some shadows, is made from staples. <laughs> Patiently. And yes, Louisa, it did take a lot of patience. Um, Louisa uh, did this on her channel in one of the staple prompts. And here's another one of those um, index cards. This is, uh, I used, I made this out of jelly pa paper when I got my uh, new envelope board. I, I wanted to try it out, so I made a little envelope. And I just stuck a ticket in there. So this is just some jelly print that I did. Uh, another page tab, another one of those pages that I made. Some more tracing paper. This was really cool. This is um, an envelope. We made the envelope, I think, or no, yeah, I think we made, I can't remember if we made it or if we just used one. Um, there's a little tag on here, a little, one of those little T, T things and a little, little thing to write on. This flower um, was a quarry flower, the one that she showed how to make quarry flower. So, quarry flower. Um, anyway, and then when you turn it over like this, it's the other side of the envelope, and we op open it, and we made, um, and she actually had a freebie during December, but I was too late, so I just kind of found one and um, just followed her direction. This was one of Barbara's. So I did that. Another one of my masterpieces. More of this, another tag. I love these little tags, they're so cute. Um, this was another pocket that we did. I think it was book page and sparkle. So here's my sparkle. Here's my book page. And this was a playing card. I think it was playing card and ribbon. And I did find some wood on this one. And um, you can see it. And it's got, she used feathers. Barbara used feathers. And I didn't have any feathers, so I used sunflower petals. But I, I like it. I think it's cute. Is it in there? On this one over here, I just made a little pocket. Um, these are some of the, um, I don't know if you can see these little things that we made out of paper clips and I just clipped that on there. She had a thing where we made things out of paper clips and that was fun. I'm getting some shadow. I think it's my, I think I need a, another thing here. Anyway, we made this out of an envelope with a, um, with a window and that it could be a belly band. I just put it in a tuck spot and we also made this to go in it and I can't remember. I believe this one was Barbara. And she put leaves. I didn't have any leaves, so I drew some leaves. <laughs> There's another one of these little paper clip things. Another one of those papers. Uh, I stenciled on this. I really like that. It almost looks like he's off in the mist. <laughs> um, here's another seed packet. And this is one that we made. It was uh, something about um, a calendar and lace. I don't know. We made this. I like it. I'll stick it in there. It's kind of cool. It's different things that we made. All these things. Uh, here's the other side of that envelope and more of those index cards that I did. Um, here's another, some more of that paper that I got from the, from the, uh, from the store, the thrift store. Another one of our tea package, tea envelopes. Another one of our seed envelopes. And this, I could add a little ticket down in there. Another one of the tea. I think we made these, um, the ones with the gold. Le Louisa put gold around hers and, um, Barbara put hers for white, so I kind of have a combination of both of those. And this is this is the back of the envelope, and uh, whoops, it's coming off. Oh, well. Here's some more tracing paper, and here's some more book page stenciled on there. See that? This is one of uh, Louisa's, and it's a tag. And I thought it was so pretty, I, I just made it into a flip. I made a lot of flips. I like to flip. And these are just an index card. Um, and um, so it goes in there. She had her video on that. Some more foil art. Here's another one of those tea envelopes. Uh, no, this is a seed packet, sorry. Seed packet. And this is one of my um, index cards again. Another page tab. More um, just a picture on the paper bag. One of my bees I cut out. Another one of Louisa Staple flower 
things. Another one of my bees. We made this. This is supposed to be out of a napkin, but I didn't have a napkin, so I printed on tissue paper, and I wouldn't probably recommend that, so I probably won't ever try that again. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. <laughs> but anyway, I did get I did save my um, printer. <laughs> um, and this was one of Louisa's. Uh, this was Louisa's. She had, it was embossed, and um, it's a, and she put lace on it, and there's a little pocket right here. These were two of the paint sample cards that we did, that Barbara did, that I, um, and she made these stars. These were a freebie. Um, she did draw these stars and put, gave them to everybody, so I thought that was cool. I have that. And then on this side is um, another one of those pockets, and Barbara's bird is got a red eye, so they, they call in it the evil bird, and they laugh about that. I thought that was funny. This was my rendition of the snow woman and dollies. I just, I tried a couple of different ones, and I... Uh, and I, I know that this is a snow woman because it gave me fits because I wasn't really sure what to do with it. So I just figured snow woman, it'd be a woman standing in the snow. So she's a woman standing in the snow. Um, and it was the eighth prompt. So I put the eight there. And these are some pretty stenciling. More stenciling. Um, another page tab. This is a stamp I have. It's my favorite. One of my favorite stamps. I love this one. This had to do, I believe this may have been... I can't remember, but I think it was snow flowers and numbers, and I think that's what it was, and I really love this. Um, this is one of my favorite things that I, my favorite things that, the way it came out, and it's, we made, um, Barbara showed us how to make these snowflakes, and I really liked, and Louisa did the snow flowers, so I think this was a combination of the two of them. Here's another one of our Rolodex cards. Another little staple do thingy, <laughs> do thingy, do floppy. Some more of that foil art paper. And some of my book print. This is something I did a long time ago that doesn't have anything to do with this challenge, but it kind of fit, so I stuck it in there. Here's another one of my masterpieces. I really love doing this. This is something I've really gotten into, is drawing on, on watercolor. Another tuck spot, and here's some more paper bag. And um, dragonfly. And for Louise, for Barbara, and here's um, another button car. I swear I love them making the button cars. And a hedgehog, which I just thought it was so cute. And we also did this, and I can't remember what we did it for, but um, I just put it back here. And anyway, so that's it. Um, that's it. So leave me in the comments what you think, and I will see you later.